astronaut was getting ready to go to space, but forgot how to be an astronaut. Duh! I forgot how to be an astronaut! And I'm freaking out! Duh! Can you believe that? Now, how did that guy get through the academy? Uh, I've been saying it for years. The standards are lower now. Holy smokes! Gene, quit! We need a new astronaut! Snoozer can be an astronaut. Who's Snoozer? I am Snoozer! You're not an astronaut. Oh, please, Mr. Astronaut. I could fly this thing with my eyes closed. But you know what? What? I can't close my eyes because I'm a robot vacuum. So Snoozer flies the spaceship really fast. He breaks a world record. He flies all the way to a new planet called Alien Mania. Checkers, Alien Mania has a lot of aliens. I would have never guessed. Yes, because aliens are very sneaky. But the aliens are actually very nice, and they tell jokes. <laughs> well, that's good. But then, one of them eats the astronaut! Oh. So Snoozer pokes his belly, and he spits the astronaut out. And then they all become friends. I tell ya, I get no respect. No respect at all. <laughs> awesome, Snoozer. Well, it's good that it was a happy ending. <sighs> oh dear, I'm tired. Uh-oh. Well, Snoozer, do you not want to go on today's reading road trip? No, I can't do that. Reading road trips are my favorite. <sighs> Snoozer? Well, good, Snoozer, because I have just thought of a fantastic idea of where we're going to go on today's Reading Road Trip. Check. All right, snoozer. Ascending in three, two, one. And we're off. Autopilot activated. So where are we going today? Well, snoozer, it is time for your three hints. I'm ready. I'm gonna get it. Hint number one, it's indoor. Hint number two, it is one of your favorite places to visit. And hint number three, it has the National Toy Hall of Fame inside it. Hmm, the Strong Museum? Yes, you got it, Snoozer. We are going to the Strong National Museum of Play. I love the Strong Museum. Yes, Snoozer, the Strong Museum has a new space-themed exhibit that I'm going to use to send you to the moon. What? I'm going to the moon? <laughs> Precisely, Snoozer. I've been waiting to test out a new rocket ship that I built, and I believe the Strong Museum has just the thing to send you to the moon. When we were playing with our space game earlier, it really reminded me that this was the day to test out my new invention. Yeah! Let's pull up the map. We are headed to Rainbow Way. Once we cross through the rainbow, we'll be right at our destination, the Strong National Museum of Play. Along the way, we're gonna do a craft with Mrs. Hamilton. Yeehaw! What is the craft of Rooney? I can't tell you that, Snoozer. It's a surprise. Besides, before we talk about the craft, we still have to talk about our books. And here they come right now, Snoozer. All right, time to bring them in. What was the button for my neck? That one. What'd we get, Checkers? Here you go, Snoozer. Mission to the Moon, adapted by Jordan D. Brown. Based on the screenplay, Mission to the Moon, written by Craig Bartlett. 
In Glow in the Dark, Book of Space, written by Nicholas Harris. Wow, perfect. Well, Mission to the Moon is a great book to talk about today because it's a story about three neighborhood friends and their alien friend from the planet Bortron 7, talking about the first Apollo 11 mission to the moon back in 1969. The story moves through all the effort that went into the mission, including the three-day journey, the many people who worked in the control room, Neil Armstrong, the first man who walked on the moon, and a whole bunch more. This book covers a lot. Later on in the story, the friends take their own trip to the moon, where they learn even more. Oh boy, I want to read this book when I'm on the moon. Yeah, that'll be fun, Snoozer. Do you want me to pack the books with you so you can read them while you're on your trip? Yes, Jagger. I love space books. Yeah, and remember, Snoozer, this is just one example of a story. There are many different examples of stories about space that you and I can read. And I'm sure we're going to do more of that soon. But while we're talking about space, the moon, and all those topics, don't you think this would be a great time to make your craft with Mrs. Hamilton? That sounds great! All right, well, let's bring on Mrs. Hamilton right now and make your craft. Well, hi, Snoozer. Are you ready to make your rocket? Absolutely. So we better count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's get to work. You are going to need three sheets today. This one, this one, and this one. So our first step is to get our scissors out and get to work cutting out all these pieces. Wow! Now, the window's gonna go here, and this is the tricky part. We have to get this part on, and then glue, whoa, the fire that comes out of the bottom that lifts the rocket into space. So, let's start with that. It looks ready to go, ready to blast off. How does yours look, Snoozer? Here's my rocket ship. Ta-da! I just love it. All right, well, that was a lot of fun. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi, boys and girls. Would you like to do the Mrs. Hamilton craft just like me? Guess what? You can! Head to your local library for all the materials that we use in the craft. Zoom! That is one cool rocket ship, Snoozer. Thank you. Thank you very much. What's the other book about? Oh, yeah, Snoozer. We have another book to talk about. That would be Glow in the Dark Book of Space. This is a unique addition to the Library of Space Books. It has wonderful information about space, the solar system, the Milky Way galaxy we live in, the sun, stars, Earth, everything. But it's also a Glow in the Dark book, so you can read it in the dark. Cool, cool, cool. I'll read that book tonight after it is dark out. Yes, that's an excellent idea, Snoozer. Hey, Zot, do you have any other books for us that are about space or astronauts or anything like that? Zot the Robot at your service. Today's selections are Alistair in Outer Space by Marilyn Sadler. Green Wilma Frog in Space by Ted Arnold. Space Visual Encyclopedia by Carol Stott. Books featuring outer space. Goodbye. Well, thanks, Zot. Wow, space books are so cool, Snoozer, and there's so many of them, so we're definitely gonna have to check some of those out. Maybe all of them. Oh, Snoozer! We're at the rainbow! If we're gonna cross the rainbow way, we need to be wearing our safety suits. So, let's change into our safety suits. Changing in three, two, one. 
going through the rain. Hey, buddy. Here I am. You excited? All right, I'm going to head inside, and we will take off in approximately five minutes. There you are. Snoozer, I'm in. Do you copy? Yes, I'm all set! Good. Alright, give me a second here. I'm gonna get this launch going. Accessing the mainframe. Scanning. Scanning. Verifying. Verifying. All phases complete. Launch sequence activated. Okay. Great. Two minutes. Let me see the rocket one more time. Give me a camera five, left side. Five activated. Okay, just pan down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Zoom in on that. Oh boy. What's going on? Snoozer, we have a problem. What's wrong? Snoozer. There is a hole in the rocket. Oh no! Can you cancel the launch? I am unable to comply. Well that's just great! Now I'm stuck here! Can you at least plug the hole? Maybe. I... Yes, Snoozer, my cool tool. If I can freeze the hole with the cool tool, it might become airtight and it might work. One minute. Hold on, Snoozer. I'm coming. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Goodbye! Goodbye. Goodbye. I can't believe that actually worked. <sighs> Snoozer, that was close. Wah-do! Where are we? Uh, Snoozer, we're in the invention lab. What? But I thought I was on the moon. I mean, I was on my way to the moon. Why am I back here? You never left, Snoozer. You fell asleep while we were deciding where we might go on the reading road trip. Oh, so I didn't go to the moon? Nope.
But I did check out a couple of great books at the library, Snoozer. And if you read these, maybe you'll turn into a space expert and one day a real astronaut. Hey! I know those books! We caught them today! One is about three friends going to the moon, and the other is a book about space that glows in the dark! Hmm. Alright, well, if you've read these books, maybe we'll check out some other books, Snoozer. I'm sure Zod has some great ideas for us. And soon, we're going to be talking about a lot of great stuff and going to new places, learning new things on our next Reading Road Trip. <laughs>